Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep Fair and today we are going to learn about a feature that is Selenium Manager. We will see like what is this feature all about and how we can use it in Selenium Web Driver. Okay, so let's start. Friends, let's try to understand few things theoretically before moving to practical part okay so as we all know that to execute the test cases in selenium web driver two things are prerequisite first is the web browser and another is the browser driver okay so let's say that that if you want to execute your test cases on a chrome browser so in that case you need two things first is the chrome browser and another is the driver exe file now let's say that if you have the browser already available on the system then you must need to set the browser driver otherwise you will not able to execute your test cases so how we can provide the path of the browser driver so there are two way first is the with help of system dot set property so which is actually used to configure the system property that affect the behavior of web driver and it allows us to set the properties like browser driver executable path before initializing the web driver and another thing is the web driver manager so basically it is an open source java library and uh, that carries out the management like download setup and the maintenance of the driver required by selenium web driver okay so with the help of these two we can set up the browser driver if you want to learn more about what is the selenium web driver manager then please watch out my this video i have explained in great detail like what is the web driver manager and how we can use it okay now moving back to our topic so now there is a new concept that is available in selenium 4.6.0 onwards there is the concept of the selenium manager and if you are using the selenium manager then there is no need of a and b which means you don't need to set the browser driver path with help of the system dot set property or with the help of selenium web driver manager okay so now let's see like what is this uh, selenium manager is all about so let me open this official website of the selenium so let's see like what they have written here actually it is developed by the boni gracia it was released around a one year back so here they have written like the most people's first experience with selenium end up with an error message like this one that is the java.lang.illegal state exception the path to the driver executable must be set by the web driver com.driver system property and for more information see this https chrome driver dot chromium dot org if you are not setting up your driver path with the help of system dot set property you will getting this kind of error selenium now with the batteries included the selenium project wants to improve the user experience and one of the first step is to help all users to simplify how they set up their environment configuring browser drivers has been for many years a task which users need to perform in order to have a working environment to run the selenium so basically they are saying like if you want to work on the selenium then you need to configure the browser drivers so that can be achieved with help of system dot set property or via web driver manager okay moving to next point setting up the browser driver once is not that complicated but browser release cycle got shorter and now we have a new chrome firefox edge version every four to six weeks the task of keeping the browser driver in sync with the browser version is not that easy anymore okay 
so here they are saying like to setting up the browser driver once is not complicated okay you can write one system dot set property or you can use the web driver manager so basically the challenging part is that as the browser version gets updated uh, within four or six weeks so it becomes very challenging to keep the browser driver in sync with the browser version okay so to overcome these things selenium has developed selenium manager okay which is a new tool that helps to get a working environment to run selenium out of the box beta ban of selenium manager will configure the browser drivers for chrome firefox and edge if they are not present on the path so now with the selenium 4.6.0 they have introduced the selenium manager if someone is using the selenium 4.6.0 then they don't need to set the driver path and it will be taken care by selenium automatically okay and it will be supporting the chrome firefox and edge browser as well to run a selenium test with selenium 4.6 you only need to have the chrome firefox or edge installed if you already have the browser driver installed the feature will be ignored which means like if you already have the drivers available for that particular browser in that case this feature will not come into the picture otherwise with help of the selenium manager the respective browser driver will be downloaded okay and the next thing is like the selenium manager is not completely new solution over there several third party projects in the selenium ecosystem emerge such as the web driver manager for the java web driver manager for the python and web driver for the ruby so they are saying like this is not completely new solution because with help of these things we can download the browser drivers okay so basically these projects they are behind uh, the inspiration and uh, they also done a survey and as part of that actually most of user wants to uh, get rid of this driver management problem so that is the reason they come up with the out of box solution so now we don't need to do this uh, driver management at all so i hope you got some idea like what is this selenium manager and uh, why it is available out of box now okay now let's see the things practically so let me quickly create one class uh, selenium manager demo okay so let's create an instance of the chrome browser so i will write the pip driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay and import the correct package here and now let's try to launch some url like amazon.com okay and uh, driver dot get to get the title of that page as well and simply print it out okay now let me open this selenium maven dependency page as well so let me open it and uh, as well as i will check my selenium version in form.xml file okay so here if you notice that i am using the selenium version 4.4.0 if you notice that i am not setting the driver exe path okay so like i am not using the system.set property or i am not using the web driver manager as well so let's execute this code and see what happens here okay so simply right click and run a java application so as expected it is giving the error exception in thread main java.lang.illegal state exception 
the path to the driver executable must be set by the webdriver.chrome.driver system property. Okay. All right. So it was expected. So now let's utilize the concept of the Selenium manager here. Okay. As you can see, like this feature was released around one year back. So this feature was available in Selenium 4.6.0. I will strongly recommend that let's go ahead and pick some stable version. So that's why I will pick this 4.11.0. Okay. And let me update my form.xml file as well with Selenium version 4.11.0. Okay. So I have just updated. As soon as you will update your form.xml file and if we expand this Maven dependencies, then you will find here that it has created one class here that is the selenium manager class okay and uh, so please take a note of this point like this implementation is still in beta and may change all right okay additionally it has created certain exe for the linux mac os and the windows and now let's go back to our program and let's re-execute it again and see what happens here. Please note that I'm not setting any system.set property or web driver manager here. So let me simply right click and run a Java application. Okay. So here you can notice like it has successfully opened the magen.com. As well as we have got the title here okay so you can see the power of selenium manager you don't need to set any kind of browser driver axis and uh, it is coming as a built-in feature with the selenium okay now let's understand that how things are working internally here so once we are writing this web driver driver equals to new chrome driver and using the selenium version 4.6 dot o and above so in that case it will go and check that if there is a selenium manager class available so it will basically interact with it and see if the respective browser driver is available on your system or not and in case it is not available it will download the browser driver on your system so in this way actually it will be uh, taking care of the browser driver exe okay so friends that's it for today's video i hope it is helpful and you got fair idea about selenium manager and how to use it thank you for watching my videos please like comments share and subscribe thank you so much